Alright guys, welcome back to another video, and this time I'm going to be reviewing the unreleased 1969 Dodge Coronet. So before I get started, I just want to give a huge thanks to Hunter for letting me review this car early. So I'm going to go over the trims now, so this one right here is the 500 hardtop, so um, this is going to be the base one, and uh, yeah, it looks really, really nice with those steel wheels. Also, in this dark red, it looks so sick. So yeah, here's the back, and yeah, it looks amazing. Now this next one right here is the Super B. So as you can see on the hood, it's got dual intakes, and they look so sick. And these rims also are really nice. So as you can see, it also does not have a canvas top, and here at the back, it's got this white stripe, which looks amazing. So this next one right here is the RT. So it looks almost the same as the Super B. It's got those dual intakes, and they look sick. But it's got different rims, and yeah, they're really nice. And also it's got a canvas roof. And here at the back, it's got different lights. So here are the lights on this one, and here are the lights on the RT. So as you can see, um, they are different. Other than that, though, they look pretty much the same. So this last trim is the Super B 440 Magnum, and it is by far my favorite. So it's got this blacked out hood, which looks amazing. It's got this massive hood scoop, and um, these rims, well, they are so cool and uh, here at the back it's got a black stripe and the orange with the black stripe just looks so cool and to be honest this is probably my new favorite car in Greenville I'm not even joking okay so those are the four trims so now I'm gonna dry them and I'm gonna start with the base one here which is the 500 hardtop so here's a startup so, so as you can hear there's kind of an idle but when they add it to the game it's gonna have a real idle so here are the revs. Oh my gosh, it sounds so good. Okay, so here are the headlights. Front turning signals. Tail lights and rear turning signals and the reverse lights. Wow, those lights are so cool looking. All right, here we go. I'm gonna try and do a peel here. Oh yeah. Oh, it sounds so good. So, uh, as you can see, it's pretty quick. It gets 60 pretty quickly. So, I'll try the top speed here. There's 70, there's 80, there's 90, there's, it's a 3 speed, and there is 100. So, the 500 right here has a top speed of 100 miles an hour. Okay, so I'm going to do a 0 to 60 here. So, here we go. Okay, there's 40, there's 50, and there is 60. Okay, so this goes from 0 to 60 in 5.29 seconds, so that is actually pretty fast. So I can't do a 0 to 125 because this car will not hit 125. So I'm going to go right to the brakes, so here we go from 55. And here we go. Okay, so this goes from 55 to 0 in 1.3 seconds, so yeah, brakes are good. Okay, so the way this thing handles is, um, well, not very good, but I'm not expecting anything much from a really old muscle car. Actually, it's okay at low speed, but yeah, at higher speeds, it's not good. It goes 100, but that's fine. It's, it's a really old car. And uh, the acceleration is really good. Yeah, at 100, it just doesn't turn at all. And also, I'm using so much gas. Holy. So yeah, uh, I really like this trim. It looks super good. And yeah, the way it drives is amazing. I mean, that acceleration, it is so fast. Okay, so now we are moving on to the Super Beast. So here's the startup. Same startup. Same revs. And also that same kind of idle, which is going to be replaced when the car is actually in the game. All the lights are the same. Here are the headlights, turning signals. Yeah, reverse lights, tail lights, brake lights. Yeah, they're all the same. But the thing is, this Super V has more power. So here we go. Okay, so as you can see, it's way faster. I'm already at 60. There's 70. There's 90, there's 100, and there's 112. Yeah, brakes are good. 
and this one is a four speed which is a lot nicer than a three speed I'm gonna see if I can get a skid here oh wait a little bit a little bit so this one right here is a lot faster than the 500 hardtop also in my opinion it looks way better with those two hood scoops and also that white stripe at the back just looks so cool with the black Honestly though, when I get this car in game, I'm probably going to get it in orange just like the 440 Magnum and like the orange with the white stripe is going to look so sick. Alright, so here's a quick 0-60. to 60. There's 40, there's 50, and there's 60. So this goes from 0-60 to 60 in 4.39 seconds, which is almost a second faster than the 500 hardtop. So the way it handles is the same as the 500 hardtop, it's a big heavy car. And yeah, the handling isn't fantastic, but it's not what it's made for. So here's a quick brake test from 55, and here we go. Okay, so brakes are the same, 1.39 seconds from 100 to 0. Okay, so I just can't get over how fun this thing is to drive, like, in third gear when you're going like 40 miles an hour and you just press on the gas. You're just gone. And that sound is just so good. Yeah, I just can't get over how cool this car is. So I'm just gonna put this back here and we're gonna move on to the RT. So this one right here looks pretty much the same as the Super B. It's got those dual hood scoops, which looks so cool, but it's got different rims, a canvas top, and actually different rear lights. So here's the startup. That is such a cool startup. Okay, so um, here are the rest. It sounds exactly the same. So here are the lights. So um, headlights are exactly the same. Front turning signals, exactly the same. But here are the tail lights. So these are really cool. I think I like them more than the others, to be honest. Yeah, they just look a little bit better for some reason. And uh, here are the brake lights. They look really good. And here are the reverse lights. Okay, so I'm gonna do a quick peel here. Oh yeah. As far as I can tell, um, it feels exactly the same as the Super B. Okay, so I'm actually going to see here if it's the same as the Super B. So here's the 0 to 60. So the RT goes from 0 to 60 in 4.23 seconds, which makes it a little bit faster than the Super B. Yeah, I just love this trim though. It's got that canvas roof and those different tail lights. And also in blue, it looks so good. And these rims, well, they're sick. And yeah, I'm 99% sure the top speed is the same, but here, test it out. Yeah, 112, it is exactly the same. And yeah, here at 112, yeah, this thing does not handle at this speed. Like, it just does not turn. Okay, here we go, handbrake turn. Oh, that was pretty fun, actually. Here we go, another handbrake turn. Yeah, it is so fun to drive. Okay, so I think I like the RT a little bit more than the Super B. Yeah, um, I think it just looks a little bit better. But, the last trim that I'll be driving today is by far my favorite, so... This is the Super B 440 Magnum. So this might be my new favorite car in Greenville, to be honest. It is just so nice. Yeah, it sounds so cool. Okay, so here we go, here we go. Oh yeah. Here we go, around this corner. Ooh. Yeah, that was, that was a good one. Lots of tire marks there. Go around here. Yeah, this car is so fun. Okay, so here's 0 to 60. Okay, so this goes from 0 to 60 in 4.2 seconds, which makes it a tiny bit faster than the RT. And it uses a ton of gas, look at that. I've only been driving for a little bit now, and I've used over an eighth of a tank.
Okay, I kind of forgot to go over the lights here, so, um, yeah, tail lights, headlights, front turning signals, rear turning signals, brake lights, and reverse lights. Oh, wait, I got some, I got some wheel spin there. That was sick. Okay, here's one last acceleration. So yeah, those were the four trims, the 500 hardtop, the Super B, the RT, and the Super B 440 Magnum. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to go drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.